We now move to Cyprus. We now move to Cyprus and Excellency Filipa Carcera Cristolide. What is the significance of protecting education for children and future generations? Your Highness, Excellencies, distinguished guests, first I wish uh, to extend my sincere gratitude to Your Highness Sheikha Moza, a true visionary, an inspiring champion uh, in the field of education. Thank you so much for the gracious invitation. I'm really delighted uh, to be at the State of Qatar today and deeply honored to be amongst uh, the distinguished guests of Your Highness. In my capacity as a First Lady, I have committed myself to serve through initiatives beneficial to children, youth, and vulnerable groups. As a strong believer in the transformative power of education, my priority is to uphold the right to education for everybody. Chairing an independent social support body, I'm proud that within a year, we raised money in Cyprus and achieved to offer scholarships to more than 1,000 students from financially and socially vulnerable families, a significant number for Cyprus. Distinguished guests, in Cyprus we know firsthand the devastating effects of war on children. In 1974, my country experienced war that led to the violent displacement of one-third of its population. The Turkish invasion took place in July and August 1974. Children experienced suffering and trauma no child should ever face. In the autumn that followed, children had no schools to attend. They were taught in tents, guided by their heroic teachers. They persevered in resilience. However, they had lost their childhood. I come from one of these refugee families. My story is the story of thousands of children around the world. I was taught that nothing is more valuable than education because it's your personal key to rebuilding your future. Because education is the one thing that cannot be taken away by war. The Secretary General of the UN, Antonio Guterres, noted that education is not only a basic human right, it is essential to the fulfillment of all human rights. And Her Highness, Sheikha Moza, added and wisely, education is the backbone of everything. That's totally true. A few years ago, my youngest, a few days ago, my youngest daughter wrote, it was the first homework of the year, her vision for this word. No more wars. Children speak the truth, plainly, honestly, truthfully, and we ought to listen. This vision can only materialize if we all join forces and through multilateralism, respect for the UN Charter and international law, mobilization of political will and resources in ensuring that armed conflicts do not have a long-lasting negative impact on children. And this is what we are doing today. Esteemed guest, we have heard it before today, but it's also one of my favorite quotes. Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Nelson Mandela. Schools should remain safe heavens for all children under any circumstances. Only through equitable education that champions peace and mutual respect, we will pave the way, the path for a brighter, for a fairer, and of course, for a more inclusive future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Excellency Felipe Carcera Cristelli Day.